Masters Learning Center at IVMasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 2, Section 1, Number 1, which reads, Which choice best summarizes the passage? So I copied the first 49 lines or so of the passage right here. And because this summary is really throughout the passage, it's not like you necessarily get it in a sentence here or there. I'm going to read basically the red underlines. No man likes to acknowledge he has made a mistake in his choice of profession. And every man worthy of the name will row long against wind and tide before he allows himself to cry out, I'm baffled. So he's basically saying, like, in general terms, that um, some, you know, you might not love your job and you might be, like, frustrated and confused about it. He says from the first week he felt his occupation irksome. He describes it as tie, uh, dry and tedious, a nuisance. His his um, work situation was rusted and cramped. He longed for liberty, so it sounds like he didn't have it. Um, his he says it's distress. It causes him distress. Closeness, smoke, monotony, and joyless tumult of big band clothes where he lives apparently. And he wants freer and fresher scenes, so he sounds like he's stifled in his work. And then he goes on to talk about his boss. He says that there's antipathy between himself and his employer. So P-A-T-H means to feel like sympathy is a shared feeling. Empathy is very similar. You feel bad for someone. Apathy, A, is lack of, just like anarchy is lack of government. And um, atypical is not typical. A apathy is lack of feeling. Antipathy is like a strong feeling against, like almost as strong as hatred. I began to feel like a plant growing out in humid darkness out of slimy walls of wealth does not sound good. Antipathy is the only word that can express the feeling Edward Crimsworth had for me. He says it again, and then he lists all a bunch of good stuff and says that his boss doesn't like this about him. My southern accent annoyed him. The degree of education of things in my language irritated him. My punctuality, punctuality, industry, and accuracy fixed his dislike and gave it the flavor and poignant relish of envy. He feared that I, too, should one day make a successful tradesman. He hated me. If he could have once placed me in a ridiculous or mortifying position, he would have. And uh, cuts off there, but he would have forgiven me much. So what summarizes the passage? Character describes his dislike for his new job and gives his reasons why. So it sounds like he's very stifled in his position, and him and his boss have a terrible relationship. Let's check out answer choice B. Two characters employed at the same office become increasingly competitive. It's not like a competition because they are not equals. One's the boss, one's the worker, even though the worker, narrator, uh, portrays himself as having better skills than his boss. Answer choice C. The young man regrets privately a choice that he defends publicly. Now, there is a portion um, in the passage around line 12, double desire of Getting my living and justifying to myself and others resolution I had taken to become a tradesman. So it sounds like he's justifying it to both himself and to others. Uh, not answer choice C. Answer choice D. A new employee experiences optimism, then frustration, and finally despair. From the get-go, he is not optimistic. He hates it, hates it, hates it. Answer choice A is your correct answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these summary questions. So any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSA tier, SA tier, ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.